Hello everybody and welcome back to Lucky by Nature. This is a uh, Road to Armageddon PvP. Let's play Season 1, Episode 2. Man, that's a mouthful there. I'm over here trying to look for some wyvern eggs. Trying to get started early while Vixen is taming some stegos. I want to take this time to give a shout out to all our patrons because it's thanks to them that we will be able to add the Aberration server when it comes out. But also a special shout out to our tribe mates because they are doing a fantastic job. If any of you all missed it on Vixen's last video, our server is open to whoever wants to come in and destroy us. We will also be doing some fun events and we are not going to do the traditional beast wars or you know anything like that because we like to think outside the box. So our, our events are going to be very, very different and very fun. This is always a little scary because, as you know, these uh, wyverns can really, really destroy a pteranodon rather quick, especially if it's the lightning. But I think that uh, the quicker we can get these wyverns going, the better we're going to be off. Oh, crap. That was close. <laughs> uh, one thing I noticed is these wyverns here seem to aggro even though um, you know you're a pretty good ways away from them. Like I don't even know why that one came over. I mean it was all the way on the other side. Yeah, I think I lost it. And uh, one of our trimates, uh, he's getting himself a griffin. But, uh, you know, I mean, that will make it easier for sure. But I like the challenge a little bit. Did you see that? Like, how? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> that was really, really far. And it aggroed, like... The aggro distance is insane. Like that would never happen on uh, Scorster. And now this one I am uh, pretty scared of, so I'm not gonna lie. So I gotta try to avoid it. Oh Jesus. My stamina is getting a little low. So I don't know, maybe. I am going to lose my Pteranodon before I even get to uh, get an egg, which that's not like me, but it can happen. <laughs> Hopefully uh, these guys will take its attention away from me, but I don't have much stem left. Alright, I'm going to have to stop. I'm going to be forced. Ah, okay. Sweet. So, let's just sit here for a minute. Oh, oh there was two of them. That was scary. So here we are, getting uh, chased again. But you know, it's a fire, so it's not a big deal. And probably this fire is gonna come after me as well. I'm telling you, these guys, they don't, get, they don't wanna give me a break, that's for sure. What the heck? <laughs> that sounded like uh, one of them died, but uh, I'm not really sure how. Ah, I wish I would have gotten that on tape. I wanted to see what uh, what happened. Okay, let's, let's do a quick turn around here. What the heck? That always works. Yeah, I think it worked. Yeah, I'll be back for these guys later. Once I get myself, uh, once I race a wyvern. Sweet. 
sweet. Not bad, not bad. I mean, this is a little bit more uh, tricky, clearly. And uh, I didn't set up any traps or anything like that. I'm just, you know, winging it. <laughs> nice. So he found himself a good griffin. That's good. So now, the fun part will be getting back. I mean, obviously I can't carry any more eggs because if I do, I'm going to be so screwed. And they're happy with the poison. That's not really my first choice, but uh, you know, it'll it'll do. Communication, guys, communication. But you know, it's all good because I'll be back. I'll be back for more. That 180 egg is uh, it's a good find. And I did take them the other way. So now I just have to survive through the snow because that damn uh, murder, murder snow. It's a bit rough. So I just gotta cruise. <laughs> so the poison somehow figured out where I was and uh, as you can see I am dying <laughs> so this sucks <laughs> come on I think I lost it and I'm dead well guys it was unfortunate I was not able to get to my uh, body before it disappeared so I lost that egg so that's very unfortunate but it's all good because you know I did get my pteranodon back um, so I'll have to gotta make this guy poop a lot <laughs> with that stimberry I mean probably everybody knows about this trick but uh, in case you don't just put stimberries and force feed the stimberries to the fiomia and uh, it'll poop a ton so on to a different point. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not very happy today. And it has nothing to do with the egg or anything like that. Nope, something completely different. You see, we got attacked. Yep, people had the nerve to attack Lucky by nature. I want our tribe mates to be pushed to the limit, but all it took was three of our tribe mates to destroy the aggressors and they didn't even break a sweat. I want to give mad props to Dunkesteri, Attila, and Dawn. They took care of business the Lucky Nation way. What is the Lucky Nation way, you ask? Well, you know, they just the normal stuff. They dodge bullets like Neo did in, Ma in the Matrix. Uh, they windsurf behind the aggressor's birds, and they killed everything and everybody with toothpicks. Good job, guys, and lady. <laughs> but to all you PvPers that have been talking smack, you can come into our server for free. Bring your friends. Do your worst, and please force my tribe mates to use their guns. And at least force them to bring the, out their gerboas to the fight. We won't be attacking anyone anytime soon. In fact, we will let you all build up and let us know when you're ready. But this is your chance to show the puny PvEers how PvPers play. We will be waiting, but to all ARC survivors out there, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.